is Section A? We have already indicated to you that Section A is uh, your comprehension. Obviously, you have it as question one. It's going to stand out, as you will see it, or those of you who have seen the question paper, into two sections. Now, let's look at what question one would look like in this case. You first are going to have a text, a text A, which will be your question one, which then suggests to you there is going to be another text at a later stage, right? Now, once you have a text A, what you do is go through your text A as we're going to go through it. Yes. And then once you're done with text A, then you go to text B. Now, remember, comprehension test, as you might have seen in the cover page, is written out of 30 marks. Does this look like 30? Or is it 36? It's 36. Legibly and neat. I still have to go back to that myself. Right. Remember, this is 30 marks. So the two texts, the two texts, text A and later on text B, will be set uh, uh, differently to the total mark of 30. So the one text may be set out of 18 and the other out of 12. Or it may go to 15, 15. 15. Yes, so okay. it, it's not binding really that the one text is set out of 15 and the other out of 15, as long as the total mark for this section is 30. Now, what we're going to do is go through the text with you. And uh, what I'm going to ask Lincoln to do here is uh, will be to read the passage for us, and then we will uh, uh, take care of uh, the questions. Over to you, Lincoln. Thank you, Billy. Hi, class of 2010. Fighting crime, one young life at a time. Captain John Maduleke is no ordinary cop. He is also a soccer coach and a passionate youth and community development activist. While growing up in Sabediela village, Limpopo, Maduleke aspired to be a singer and stage actor. But he gave up the prospect of a showbiz lifestyle for a life dedicated to service to his country after his father persuaded him to join the police force in the early 1980s. We, the police, are there to serve protect and make this country a safer and better place for its inhabitants. So we should be friends to our communities. Community police forums inspired me to work with people, but the youth were not really interested, says Maluleke. The adopt -a cop project was launched in 1997 with the aim of establishing and building a relationship of trust between the police and the youth. Maluleke was inspired to take the project to street children and shelters in inner city Johannesburg and Hillbrown, getting them to adopt a cop. I became their friend and helped most of them get off the streets, he reveals. Maluleke also involved children living in high-rise buildings in the inner city. A street children soccer project, inner city ambassadors football club, was later launched and has grown to 120 players. His players are forced to play in parks because of the lack of proper playing grounds. But Maluleke thinks they may soon have proper soccer fields. According to Maluleke, creating a positive lifestyle at a tender age is more likely to influence children to live positively as adults. Officers must be role models and attract youngsters to the police force. Imagine if each police officer, or any other community member for that matter, can change the life of one youth for the better. We will be launching a silent war against drug lords and crime kingpins. If we can come together as businesses and communities, we will surely, surely beat, beat crime. crime. Thanks, Bully. Thank you. Thank you, Lincoln. Now, the most important thing is, here you are. You have read this passage. What is it that the passage is about? Can you uh, look at the passage and say, I know what this passage is saying at the end of reading, like Lincoln has just mm. ended reading it. And uh, uh, the most important thing is look at what uh, the passage is all about, the issues that it address, and then you can get to answering the questions. Now, you'll realize that there are some strange words that you shall have encountered. Uh, but now the thing is, Lincoln didn't stumble. He didn't get stuck with those words. Remember, you don't have to know every word or the meaning of every word. And we will come to discuss that a little later. 
uh, uh, did refer in the, uh, the other presentation, Lincoln, to contextual yes. meaning. You're yes. reading the meaning in context. So in this case, it's not your worrying about what does the word mean exactly as you have it in the dictionary. Remember, you don't have room or space for the dictionary, do you? Yeah, you don't. So uh, all that you do is read the word, infer the expression, and then uh, you go on. Have the time, you end up with uh, understanding the word or getting to the meaning of the word because of how it is used in the passage. So remember, you don't get to get stuck with uh, uh, the meaning of the word or a oh. difficult word if you don't know it. That's correct. Read the context, read what the word could mean. And other than in one or two questions where you'll be provided to, I mean, you'll be expected to provide a synonym for the word, there'll be no need for you to really uh, have the dictionary meaning of every word. As we said it, you infer the meaning of the word, you read between the lines, you try to make sense out of it, and then you go on and try to answer the questions. That's it. And this is exactly what we're going to do immediately hereafter. Once we can get this little girl here to answer my call, uh, you will realize that we'll be getting to that. Uh, you will realize that this is adapted from this star. Now, what does this say to you? This is a suggestion that context or text can be drawn from any source. It may be from your dictionary, it may be from your textbook, your physical science textbook. Now, your newspaper is your source. Any kind of writing that you have lying anywhere can be your comprehension passage source. So we're inviting you to be on the lookout because you don't know uh, any article that you might have read the previous night or the previous year, at least, could be a text for examinations. That's correct, so, and that's true. Thank you so much, Lincoln. So what we're saying is the star, the sweater, uh, any magazine, club magazines that we have lying all over the place, they have passages. They are written about these or the other thing, and uh, that's where we invite you to start looking at. And well, you should have talked for a very long time. Don't you need some water? Oh, I definitely. Let's I go for a night break, my brother. There you go. See you we later. We will go for another break. Thanks. Thank you.